PBT model test scripts for the listening comprehension section. Section 1. In this section of the test, you will have an opportunity to demonstrate your ability to understand conversations and talks in English. There are three parts to this section with special directions for each part. Answer all the questions on the basis of what is stated or implied by the speakers in this test. When you take the actual TOEFL test, you will not be allowed to take notes or write in your test book. Try to work on this model test in the same way. Part A. Directions. In Part A, you will hear short conversations between two people. After each conversation, you will hear a question about the conversation. The conversations and questions will not be repeated. After you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your book and choose the best answer. Then on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Number one. You'd better take the car to the garage from now on. They charged me $75 for a few minor repairs. That's not too bad. What does the man mean? Number two. The International Students Association is having a party Saturday night. Can you come or do you have to work at the hospital? I wish I could. What will the woman probably do? Number three. I think that the game starts at eight. Good. We have just enough time to get there. What will the speakers probably do? Number four. What did you do after you lost your passport? I went to see the foreign student advisor and he reported it to the passport office in Washington. What did the man do after he lost his passport? Number five. If you don't have an account here, I can't cash your check. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Well, thanks a lot. You're a big help. What does the woman mean? Number six. I'm not sure what Dr. Tyler wants us to do. If I were you, I'd write a rough draft and ask Dr. Tyler to look at it. What does the woman suggest the man do? Number seven. Dr. Clark is the only one teaching statistics this term. You mean we have to put up with her for another semester? What does the woman mean? Number eight. Do you think that you can have these shirts finished by Friday morning? I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly get them done by then. Saturday afternoon would be the earliest that you could have them. What does the woman say about the shirts? Number nine. The music and the flowers are lovely. Yes, I hope that the food is good. What kind of place are the speakers probably talking about? Number 10. Hello, Anne. This is Larry at the office. 
Is Fred at home? No, Larry. He's in class now. He'll be home for lunch, though. What do we know about Fred? Number 11. When does the next bus leave for New York? Buses leave for New York every half hour. You just missed the 9.30 bus by five minutes. What will the man probably do? Number 12. Did we have an assignment for Monday? I don't have anything written down. Nothing to read in the textbook, but we have to see a movie and write a paragraph about it. What are the speakers discussing? Number 13. Make 30 copies for me and 20 copies for Mr. Brown. As soon as I make the final corrections on the original. What is the woman probably going to do? Number 14. Excuse me, are you Sally Harrison's sister? No, I'm not. I'm her cousin. What had the man assumed about the woman? Number 15. I can't find my pen. It was right here on the desk yesterday, and now it's gone. Have you seen it? Yes. I put it in the desk drawer. What is the woman's problem? Number 16. When is John coming? Well, he said he'd be here at 8.30, but if I know him, it will be at least 9 o'clock. What does the man imply about John? Number 17. I suppose we should look for a bigger house, but I don't see how we can afford one right now. If only we hadn't spent so much money on our vacation this year. What does the woman mean? Number 18. Did you see Jack's presentation? Yes, what happened? He didn't seem to know up from down. What does the woman imply about Jack? Number 19. Shall I send out the invitations? Let's hold off on that until I can talk to Janet. What does the man mean? Number 20. How's the baby? Is she walking yet? Oh yes, I can't keep up with her. What does the woman mean? Number 21. How is your experiment coming along? It's finished, but it didn't turn out quite like I thought it would. What does the man mean? Number 22. Barbara sure likes to talk on the phone. If only she liked her classes as well. What does the man imply about Barbara?
Number 23. My allergies are really bothering me. I guess I'll have to go to the doctor. If I were you, I'd try some over the counter medications first. They usually do the job. What does the man suggest the woman do? Number 24. What did you decide about the scholarship? Did you fill out the application? I'm going to give it all I've got. What does the woman mean? Number 25. Hello, Anne. This is Robert. Oh, hi, Robert. I was just about to call you. What does the woman mean? Number 26. Could I have a few more minutes to finish? I'm afraid not. It's a time test. What does the woman mean? Number 27. The best part is I can use my roommate's book. I'm not so sure about that. I think they're using a different book this semester. What does the man imply? Number 28. I'm going to get Sally a bike for Christmas. Are you sure she'd like one? What does the woman imply? Number 29. Carol needs a ride downtown, and I said you'd take her. Oh, no. Please say you didn't. What can be inferred about the man? Number 30. I just can't get the answer to this problem. I've been working on it for three hours. Maybe you should get some rest and try it again later. What does the woman suggest that the man do? This is the end of Part A.